Hey, Internet! It's Color Florida, and welcome back to Balloonorama! I'm very excited for this world, because this is probably my favorite world in the game. We're going to Fatty Bear's house. Ready to do something really fun? I am amazed that Humongous Entertainment made Fatty Bear's house a world in this game. We didn't get Fatty Bear 2, but this is the closest you're gonna get. They even preserved the art style while, like, updating it from 8-bit graphics, which is just incredible. You've got the beautiful moon in the background. You've got the familiar Kayla's house, which is purple. You've got all the fences. It's just so well done. You've even, you even have the garage. When I was a kid, I remembered this world being literally a shot-for-shot -shot remake of the front yard-like screen in Fatty Bear. I also remembered the next world being something different, but... Alas. I just do not remember Balloonorama very well as a kid. Woohoo! Fatty Bear's house has very groovy and quiet music at the same time. It also has a very long music track, like... There's one level where you'll probably hear most of it, but for the most part, you're gonna finish well before it gets to even the halfway point of the song. I actually kind of wanted to get painted white, but not today. I'm not sure how that worked, but all right. This is where the bumpers are just so annoying. Alright, cool. Puppet's so excited to be at Fatty Bear's house. Then again, Puppet and Fatty Bear are great friends. Come on! It's time to do some more popping! So you're probably confused, there are no balloons anywhere. Yeah, this level's a little bit evil. <laughs> Aww. At least I got plenty of candy. Actually, no, this level's not the evil level. Unless more balloons appear. Oh, never mind. That was a pretty simple level. I remember this world being a lot longer. Like, the individual levels. Oh, I didn't know you could hit the pig! Super Pep! Yes! Take that pig! Oh no, I didn't catch Pep! Darn it! I lost Super Pep! And, you know, I dropped my dog on the ground, and that's not good. That ending fanfare is just so groovy. Boom, boom, boom. No, no, no. Darn it. I really need to be more careful with the paint buckets. Just some really nice, peaceful music. To be honest, this doesn't really fit the overall Fatty Bear theme, because I felt like Fatty Bear's Birthday Surprises music tends to be kind of dark and mysterious, despite it being an extremely happy game. Ah, darn it, Pep. I know I keep saying, like, darn it, Pep, when I screw up. That's probably, that's a bad habit. I should stop doing that. Yeah, this is where the song starts getting groovy. Aww. Those paint buckets. <laughs> <coughs> 
no bonus today. Okay, this level. This level, I can't decide if it's one of my favorite or one of my least favorite levels. Seems very simple. And then this happens. This is the level with the most generating balloons. The highest amount. Ah, oh, rats. Like, they, there's just, like, really no end to them. Like, there is, but it takes up, like, the entire screen. Thank goodness most of these are candy balloons. Like, this is kind of the level where it's like, if you're gonna hear the entire Fatty Bear song, it's gonna be on this level. And it all starts with the eyeball balloon. A little eerie. Or should I say, Ayuri? No, that was bad. Ignore that pun. But yeah, like, just check out how long the music track is. And how jazzy it's getting. I'm never gonna hit those yellow green balloons. Bad luck. Tough luck, kid. Maybe next time. There we go. Still didn't hear the whole song, though. Oh boy! This introduces the new gimmick. Those in the middle, those are spinners. And if you touch those with Pep, they make Pep just go nuts, basically. Like, there's really no way of knowing where he's gonna go when he touches one of those spinners, which is annoying. Darn it, Pup Putt. Like, sometimes they won't really affect his momentum, sometimes they totally will. Oh, I need that. So, like, hitting the balloons above the spinners is gonna be tough. Like, I'm, I'm not sure if there actually is, like, a very sophisticated spinner algorithm, or if it's just kind of random. I would be interested to know other people's takes on the spinners. Yeah, like, look at that! <laughs> or, like, that! Thank you, Bumper. Do, 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 do. Oh, boy. Darn it! Put, put, you keep dropping Pep even though you clearly catch him. Oh well, at least the fatty bear balloons have come back. Light just They're just here to let you know who's in charge. And whose game this really is. Sorry, Fatty Bear. I would love to turn blue. As you know, Color Farty's a pretty big fan of the color blue.
but not enough to sacrifice Pep for it. Nicely done, Pep. That was less nicely done. Woohoo! Two levels left. And more spinner fun. And we are definitely at the point of the game now where it's like pretty much every balloon has a hidden balloon inside of it. Nice confetti job, Pep. So for this level, it appears that each balloon has a hidden balloon inside of it, and then a regular balloon will sprout in its place after you've destroyed the both. Man, I forgot how well with the space helmet helps you combo as well. Aw, oh, man. It's just the never-ending stream of balloons, isn't it? Please, let's just take out all the little yellow balloons. Maybe this will be the level we hear all of the Fatty Bear music. Oh, come on! I blatantly caught him! Man, forget LEGO Star Wars. This is the game that has questionable collision detection. Confetti time! Everybody loves confetti. That's why birthdays are so much fun. And you know, cake and presents. Alright. Curse you, beach balls. Papa needs to become a stretch limo again just so I can catch Pep more. Maybe turning on easy catch fixes the collision problems. I am not gonna stoop to turning on the junior helper though. It's practically the super guide. Honestly, it's really not because you still have to play the game, it just makes it a bit less tedious. And yeah, the spinners can send you unbelievably high, especially if you have the space helmet, Pep. Oh, come on, Pop Pot! There we go. Nope. Denied. No balloon spawning. Oh yeah, this is a cool level. Nice uh, end to Fatty Bear's house. Oh my gosh, I just realized why Fatty Bear's house the world, as a world has so many regenerating balloons. Because in Fatty Bear's birthday surprise, you keep having to blow up new balloons after the puppy pops them. That's amazing. I just realized that. Well done, Humongous Entertainment Designers. Well done. <laughs> This level spawns trash balloons, so it's not as nice. Pop 
What? I know that one I actually did miss, but that's because Papa didn't move when I told him to. Man, this is just like the weirdest balloons. There are no rhyme or reason to these balloons spawning. I would love a spaceship. Thank you. I try to get a bonus level in every video. I just feel like that's the junior arcade way. Thankfully, this is the only, like, junior adventure where getting the bonus levels is actually, like, really hard sometimes. Where, like, if, you, if it doesn't spawn until you've popped the final balloon, like, you're not getting it. Unless you get amazingly stinking lucky. And darn it! It's only a mild inconvenience game. Bonus level. Ooh, yeah. Come to me, aliens. Bonus levels are so peaceful. Kind of the opposite to the way they are in other junior arcade games. <laughs> Alright, that's Fatty Bear's house, and that's where we're going to leave the episode off for today. Thank you very much for watching, I'm Color Flarty. If you tune in next time, we'll be heading to the next world, and it's going to be a very interesting world. Have a great day, and God bless.